Welcome to another how to video by BJ from Digital Appeal. Today, we're going to check out some Photoshop from very basic functions to some more advanced functions. Let's get started. All right, we're going to be moving fast. So I'm going to add an emoji first using the text tool and then selecting emoji for the font type. You can also go to glyphs to do this in your workspace. All right, the most basic thing, shh, zooming in, zooming out. You can hit Alt, hold it, and use your mouse wheel to zoom in, zoom out. You can always go Control Zero to get back to full width of your screen. And you can also hold the space bar, click and hold, and move your mouse to move around your image that you're All right, the magic wand is going to be your go-to on many tasks. Hit W or use the menu on the left. And we're going to do something called Content Aware to remove this watermark. We're gonna select it with the magic wand. We're gonna expand the selection so we get all of it to two pixels. Now we're gonna hit Shift F5 with the magic wand, go to Content Aware, and then we're gonna hit Enter. And we'll go around and we'll do Content Aware. Now, to make this quicker, we're gonna record it like a macro you would in Excel. So we're gonna open up Actions and record these steps instead of having to do the previous five steps. All right, we got rid of our watermark next. Let's touch up that dark spot on the image. We're gonna use the marquee tool, elliptical. We're gonna make a circle. Now, if you're wondering how to make a perfect circle, hold the shift key and then click and drag and it'll stay proportional. Now, once we make our selection, we're gonna to go to levels and there you can adjust and fine tune. All right, next, open up the clone stamp tool. This will be another one of your go-tos for editing images and touch them up. Get on your image, make sure you're on the right layer, on your layers pane. Hold Alt, click the part of the image that you want to paint with. And then once you click, release Alt, move to the section that you want to touch up. And that'll replace that part of the image with the selection that you took. This is one of my favorite tools and you can do a lot with it. Um, watch when we get to the sneakers and you'll see how powerful this is. Also very similar to the paintbrush. So you can select different brush styles, opacity, hard, soft, the one that's gonna be right. And don't forget to make sure that the size is appropriate for the task that you're trying to accomplish. Next, we got a couple things we're gonna accomplish here. First, make a duplicate of that image layer. Then select the top image. Now, hit the eyeball to turn off visibility to the image below, use the marquee selection to select the legs, hit control shift I to invert the selection. Now hit delete to remove that selection. Next, go up to the properties and we're gonna remove background using the Adobe AI tool. This is a great shortcut. You'll see it under the properties. Just make sure your layer is selected that you want and then hit remove background. Boom, you have a pair of legs. We're gonna show you some cool stuff but first, let's just do a quick review of your workspace. In case you're having a hard time finding some of these tools, you can always go to your window, workspace, select one of the defaults like graphic 3D, web print, and then that drop down under window has all the different options for the different tools in Photoshop. Now to hide layer, remember you can click the eye in the layers panel, that'll turn on and off the image just so you can't see it. I just turned it back on, that's why we, it looks like the original. But remember, we have that extra set of legs. Now, the way we crop that and remove the background, we need to convert it. So we're gonna go right click it, do smart object, right click it again, and then choose rasterize. That's gonna make it the same format as the image below it in the layers panel. All right, in Photoshop, you can have multiple files open at one time, which is very handy because you can use the move tool to grab an image that you're working on in a different file, drag it onto your other file or artboard and manipulate it and incorporate that into your image. So let's see what we can do with the layers that we created. First, let's add a style to this. So we're gonna add a co color overlay, white. Yes, now, oh, we're gonna adjust the opacity to about 55%. Come on, come on. And next, we're gonna move Let's go. that in between the second the legs and the original photo to I give it that little background depth. Now pay attention here, look at the layers come. You see where we move the mountain? 
my feet closer to yours. It's my breath, then I say, I'm the one you're looking for. Come on, come on, dance a little dance. You take an image on my phone, other cameras. You be my queen, I'll be your king. You don't want this on the website. It's going to slow it down. The other thing that you want to do is add another dance. This is easy to do with Photoshop. You can save templates for different topics. Other data is basically keywords, information about where the image was taken, and other ways that Google bots can easily identify what kind of image it is. So this is especially important for SEO because your images will be indexed on Google, which drives more traffic to your website. Last but not least, don't forget, when you use images, make sure that file type is logical, human readable, and makes sense. This is also going to help when your image gets indexed on different search engines. Hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, comment below. Talk to you later. Come on the dance floor and baby show me all your moves, all your grooves. Shorty, I got something to prove to you. So come on, come on, take a little chance. Got me in a trance and just one glance. Oh, don't wait no more. I'm me, I'm more. I'm the one you're looking for, shorty. So come on, come on. Trying to just one plan, so don't wait no more. Oh.